Welcome to the Baby Animal Show. It's all part of the Eckers 360 Baby, and we've got Farmer James with us today with some gorgeous little animals. So we've got little lambs here. Yes. Mummy is called. She's called a ewe, and the fathers are called rams. Because these guys are only just over a week old, uh, two weeks old, roughly in, in, in that sort of range. That's why they're calling out to their mums, and they're a little bit nervous, but they're okay. They're settling in. They often stay very close to mum. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Keep away from predators uh, very early in the piece. They need they need all the protection they can get. And as you can see by these ladies here, uh, they're very protective and they're very good mums. Now look at this relationship that they have. Yeah, it's beautiful. This is, this is mama. That's mum, so she's a merino. So oh. she's a ewe, uh, that's the female. And this other one, we've got a dorper here. And this is her baby, this little colourful guy here. Now I don't like to say lamb shop too loudly, but we do breed sheep for meat. Yes, we do. Yes, we have meat from sheep. Um, the older, older uh, meat is, is mutton and the younger one is lamb, of course. Uh, but we also have fleece that we get from them. So that's called wool and that's what you've got. You've got a merino there and he's mainly done for the wool and the fleece side of things. And these guys are uh, more the meat side. You must find it's a wonderful job not only to be able to breed these beautiful animals but at the echo what a job for you to be able to stand back and watch the pleasure with, when people get to cuddle and hold them. Oh, uh, we do love seeing the people being able to come in sometimes they're a bit nervous when they first come into the animal nursery but after a while uh, by the time they leave they just they're in love with the animals so what about the merino as far as the fleece is concerned yes okay well um a merino has has wool as we know and uh, you give them a haircut but it's not called a haircut it's called shearing and you do that once a year and the farmers will do that at the same time every year because they need to make sure that the wool that they're shearing from the sheep um, is the same length so that the processors can do it um, so that's every year same roughly the same time they get their hair cut. The merinos, you know, they can get up to be 180 kilos. They're, you know, they can be a big animal um, and pretty heavy to, to give a haircut to, that's for sure. And is the merino wool considered a very good brand oh, of wool? It's, it's good, good brand. Australia's got the best wool in the world, of course. I'm a little bit biased, but um, no, it, beautiful wool suits um, and every part of it's used, you know, and the, and the lesser quality might be used for carpets and so on. But, um, you know, jumpers and, and jerseys, there's probably, there's not much you can't make out of wool. What would happen if you don't shear them? Oh, if you don't shear them, it just keeps on growing, but um, and growing and growing. You can get double fleeces and so on, but it's really not. It's not good for the sheep. Uh, you really need to give them a haircut once a year. Um, Australia has a few flies, and if you don't have, um, if you don't look after your sheep, and if they don't get their haircut, they can get what's called fly blown, and then that leads to complications. Now, how many babies would uh, would one mum have per year? Yeah, generally speaking, one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, generally speaking, one. Uh, sometimes they have twins, sometimes they have triplets, uh, but they're not they're not as common. Uh, generally speaking, yeah. And yeah. what about milking sheep? Yes, you can certainly milk sheep. You can you can make cheese from it. You can uh, drink the the sheep's milk. So, what do they like to eat? Sheep predominantly like eating grass. Uh, there's no doubt about that. They like eating the grass. And actually, did you know that a sheep has four stomachs? Four? Yes. Sounds like me, I eat a lot. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> me too. But I don't have four stomachs, thankfully. Wow, yeah. so what would be the reason behind that? Well, it's just part of their makeup, but what they do is they'll, they'll eat the grass, it'll go down into one of their stomachs, and it'll, it'll spend a bit of time being a little bit processed there. And then what they do is they regurgitate it, and they bring it back up into their mouth, and you'll see them chewing, and it's called chewing their cud and they'll just be sitting there chewing with their bottom jaw sort of just slowly moving around. Then they swallow it back down again and it goes into one of the other stomachs and that's where it gets finally processed. And is that why quite often when you look at a sheep, it's quite often chewing, but there's no food there? Absolutely, yeah. And it's actually a very good sign. So particularly in the animal nursery at the show, what we'll be looking for is for the sheep and for the goats and the cows actually, to all be there sitting there chewing their cud because if they're doing that, it means they're not stressed at all. They're just sitting there, they're relaxing. Quite often you'll see them, they're sitting down when they're doing it and because they like to really relax to digest their food and that's just part of their digestion system. And one more question, can I take this one home with me? I thought you said you were taking another one home. <laughs> well, I think we can fit two in your handbag. <laughs> and if you want to check out these gorgeous little animals, make sure you have a look at 360 Baby, seven o'clock tomorrow morning. Farmer James, thank you. That's my pleasure. And thank you and you.